Welcome back. Welcome back, hot rodders and futurists. You know, I say those words paradoxically, but there's no real reason you can't be a hot rodder and enjoy electric vehicles. My intention is always to bring those two worlds a little closer together anyhow. You know, if you build custom cars the way you've always built custom cars, not only is that not personal growth, but that's not industry growth. You're not helping advance the industry at all. Now, many would argue that that's not the direction they want the hot rod industry to go, but if you pay attention to anything around you, that's the way it's inevitably headed anyway. You know, the best way to predict the future is to help shape it yourself. So why not be on the cutting edge of that? This next project really is the culmination of everything I've learned in my career to date. Everything from engineering, design, CAD work, fabrication, welding, machining, right up to modern electric drives and battery systems. The intention is really to push the limits on everything we know up to this point. All that being said, let me introduce you to the C1 Corvette. That's right, the C1 Corvette. You can start hating in the comments. Our particular one is a 1959, and in my opinion, the best looking Corvette that Chevrolet ever made. This is our opportunity to reimagine, or rather re-engineer this classic beauty. Now there's many ways you can go about that. Simply remove the V8, and bolt an electric motor to it, running back through the transmission and stock driveline with minimal frame modifications. But I consider that the veggie burger approach. Hopefully that analogy is not lost on you. Our intention is to be unapologetically different. We're gonna begin with a custom designed and fabricated in-house chassis, really built around the electric motors and drive units. Electric motors will still be American power, but by way of Tesla, now I say that again, Tesla is American power, like it or not. And if you did catch that, I said motors, this will be an all wheel drive car. Well, we've got a lot to do. I've got the stock body off the chassis already. I got somebody coming in to scan the underside of it. So I have a 3D model to start my frame CAD work in. The donor car for the batteries should be here this week. So we're gonna have likely the next video on the teardown of the battery modules. I'll introduce you to those. But in the meantime, we gotta finish getting this body stripped because it is headed off to Soda Blast and then to the paint shop. So let's get after it. So ongoing theme here. I got the body separated from the chassis and didn't really take any video at all of the process or even much of the strip down. As is usually the case, by the time I remember that I haven't set up the camera to start videoing, I just don't bother with it. And if I set it up ahead of time and just recorded the entire process, it would literally be terabytes of data. We got all the interior out, all the trim off of it, windshield off of it. This is what we're left with right before it goes off to the soda blasters. The paint on this car was actually in fairly reasonable shape. It had been repainted once in its life. But the amount of time and attention that we're gonna to give to the mechanical, it only made sense that 
we've gone this far, we might as well have a perfect body as well. In the end, this car is going to look just as well as it performs. All right, I should remind you, I am a one-man show here, so I don't have a production crew following me around videoing or editing. I have to do all of that on my own time as well as design and fabricate the car. So my intention is I'd like to try to put out a video every couple of weeks, but um, don't get too upset if I get behind on doing that. I will try to keep up to date as best I can.